so I'm going to quickly show you how to use the Mood Harmony app in order to control the music on your device. So you want to download the Mood Harmony app, not the Mood Harmony Control or just the Mood Harmony app. Um, there will be links in the description as well as in other parts of this video. Once you open it, you should see this. So the first thing you're going to do is use as a player remote control. Okay. The key comes from us at MusicCraft. So if you have not received your key, please give us a call at 805-981-9031 or email us at service at musiccraft.com. That way we'll be able to get you the key you need. Each key is unique to each device. So you will enter the key number. Okay. And you'll hit continue and that will take you to this page so you'll see the name up top here which is musicraft office demo um, if you have multiple devices um, and you add multiple keys you'll hit add a device and you'll be able to you'll go back to this screen and it'll tell you all of them so right now it will tell you what's now playing you'll be able to look at what has played in the past when it played it's just, it's not all the past, it's just, you know, most recent. Um, you'll be able to change the volume of the player. However, if you change the volume here, I recommend um, checking your amp and other volume controls um, because the we set the volume when we install it in order to make it so it works with everything else. So if you change the volume here, be sure that you don't uh, forget to change it back before trying to figure out your volume controls. Um, but let's say, you know, you need to mute it real quick. You can go on here and mute it and it'll mute and come back up. All right. So now you can also go to your library. Uh, in another video, we're going to show you how to add songs to this library. But for now, these are the songs that are added and all you'll have to do as you can kind of go through here. I only have a few of our over 150 channels here. So I'm going to go to uh, our most popular one, FM1, and I'll hit play now. See, it will play after this song. So whatever song is playing currently, it will end the song and then go to the next song you've played. Now, let's say you've been changing the music, having fun, but you want to get it back on the schedule it was on. You'll hit here. And it'll return to the schedule content that you created. And that's how you use the app. Simple, easy to use for quick and easy fixes um, so you can change your music on the go. Thank you very much.